All right, uh, welcome everyone. This is a four wheel rover. This is uh, a quick five minute demo sort of explanation of this recent sketch I did. And so as you can see, um, I got started just with a, a really quick uh, sort of under sketch, a, you know, a, a really quick thumbnail to kind of get the overall uh, footprint of what this vehicle is going to be. And uh, I, I've been kind of working over it in, in many different layers and kind of trying to find things I, I, I like and I'm looking for, but I've been primarily focused on the suspension. So everything up to now has been kind of focused on uh, that, particularly that front suspension, that's going to kind of be my main theme. What you're going to see me do right now is drop in a shape, a circle shape, and I'm going to slow it down to kind of uh, give myself some more time and, and to make it less erratic for uh, the, the viewer. And I'm just going to kind of be painting into it and get some really rough values because uh, what I intend to do is use this smudge tool to smudge and drag that circle out so that it's more of a kind of capsule shape. And, and that's kind of the idea here is that uh, that's that's like going to be the main theme of, uh, of this design. And so I've been kind of waiting to do that and, it, and I've been kind of thinking about doing it up to this point. That, that was sort of like my intention. So I just wanted to kind of block something in there that I could mess around with and, and hope for a happy accident. And as you can see, I got that here. And so I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm going to use the warp tool and just kind of free transform to get some of these shapes into a uh, perspective that will work for my sketch. Now that I got that, I'm pretty stoked. And so I'm going to move on and uh, we're going to work out this uh, back pickup bed thing. This is going to supposed to be some kind of moon uh, buggy uh, or, you know, like moon pickup truck. So I thought it'd be cool to have like a little, you know, bed back there and move around some moon rocks or, you know, haul something from uh, one point of the base to the other, you know, just some, this could be some little narrative piece. It'd be nice to have around like a, a video game environment, uh, or, you know, maybe it's in some backdrop, backdrop scene somewhere uh, and for some entertainment purpose. So it's, it's really supposed to be uh, this kind of just interesting kind of narrative piece that would add to the story of wherever the location was. I'm also going to kind of slow down here with the uh, replay speed to go over doing the front tire traction. Um, I think I've mentioned this before, but typically the way I think about these vehicles is that the, uh, if you can really nail the 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 wheels and the tires it kind of really helps sell the vehicle overall it's kind of like having a really nice ground plane in a painting it just sort of helps solidify everything so it all sits in place so i've just made this really simple tire tread and i'm just warping it back into perspective and then i've just created a layer underneath where i'm going to kind of opaquely paint uh you know my tire tread back in there it's a little tedious but it uh, definitely will really help sell the sketch as this more kind of believable real world thing. So it's important to just kind of spend a little time here. I'm really liking the way that's looking. So I'm just gonna kind of duplicate this tire tread around now and uh, you know, drop in the lips here to make sure I have all my ellipses and kind of the, the right perspective and you know, the, the kind of the right shape because I've just kind of been free handing this stuff in with my Intuos so far. And so you know, now's a good time to kind of get in there and check the perspective and check, check the ellipses and make sure that at least uh, it feels right, even if it's not in perfect perspective. And I'm just going to continue to you know, warp uh, that, that line work down and around to kind of continue the tread in a believable way. All right, now that that uh, front wheel is wrapped up, I'm going to propagate it around to the uh, other sides of the vehicle, other corners of the vehicle. And then I will continue to uh, uh, flesh out the sketch more, uh, adding more detail and uh, just sort of clean up perspective and minor little uh, discrepancies here and there throughout the design. As you can see with a few transitions, I will um, be resolving that stuff. Yeah, that, that'll be pretty much it for this sketch. I will be done. I'm going to do all that with a few transitions here. It's uh, probably about another uh, 20 or 30 minutes of sketching, and you'll be able to see the final result uh, here in the final JPEG. Uh, thank you for joining me today. I hope this was uh, inspirational and maybe you got something out of it. And please don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter. And also please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.